When we think about science and math, we don't often correlate it to toddlers. But the thing is that science and math is everywhere. And so here are some easy and simple ideas on how you can implement these concepts at home with your toddler. My name is Leslie. I'm a Montessori certified guide and I've been working with children for 14 years. My husband is a mechanical engineer. And so you best believe that science and math is an exciting topic here at home. First, counting activity can be done when you are simply cooking or baking. Count the number of eggs that you're using, the number of bananas that you need for your banana bread. Read the recipe and say, oh, we need two cups of flour. Now we need one cup of sugar. This is going to introduce your toddler to the concept of numbers and quantity without even having to sit with them and count and do and force them into memorizing numbers. When you introduce these concepts as just part of your natural day and the flow of your cooking and baking activities, then you're giving them the opportunity to have this love for learning and love for counting. You can always build blocks with your child and indirectly introduce the concept of science and engineering. When your child is building, they are learning how to critically think and be creative, but they're also learning about structures. They're learning that they need a good foundation so that when they build the structure, it doesn't collapse. When your child is a little older, like four and five, you can also start to see why different materials act in different ways. So if you're building with wooden blocks versus Legos, then which structure stays up longer and which one can you build uh, a higher structure with? And then you can talk about, well, why? Do you think it's the material? Do you think it's the shapes? And so this is a great way of, again, giving them this love for learning and really preparing them for bigger subjects that they will encounter during grade school. The next activity is a simple toy like this one here or this one. Um, where you can introduce geometric shapes. Now, my daughter has been using this one here for almost a year and a half. And so we've added this one here to give it a give her an added challenge. But the thing about these is that they uh, are learning about 3D objects like this one here. This is a cube. This is a blue cube. And we are a bilingual family, so we introduce both languages and we say, oh, este es un cubo azul versus a square when it's 2D. And so having these toys available for your children are going to give them the opportunity to hear the different geometric shapes, which of course, again, they're going to be encountering all of these subjects later on in their, um, in their school. And this is why I truly believe that toys can be a tool for learning because not only are they playing and gaining a lot of those fine motor skills, but if you also incorporate the language, wow, what a powerful way of really giving your child a rich learning opportunity. The next easy and simple science and math activity is building paper bridges with your child. Now, simply use um, paper and tape to make little tunnels and allow a ball to roll through the little tunnels. And this is going to give them the opportunity to critically think, problem solve, and also you can use construction paper versus foil versus cardboard to see what structures stay up longer and which ones are sturdier. This is such an easy and simple activity that let me tell you the times that we've done it here at home with my husband and with my daughter, we are all having so much fun and it just brings so much joy to my heart that we can incorporate these fun learning experiences for our daughter all while we, the adults, are also having fun. The next simple and easy activity is identification of shapes in the environment. Now look around and I promise you everything in our environment is a shape. This table here in front of me is a rectangle. The tortillas are a circle. Um, the ceiling is in the shape of a big rectangle. And so going around and being able to identify these shapes when you're out in nature or at home is just an easy 
easy and simple way of not even having to use any materials or any toys. This is going to indirectly give your child the opportunity to learn how to use their surrounding environment to be creative. The next simple and easy activity is simply using a magnifying glass and you can go around your home and just look at things under the magnifying glass or go out in nature and look at leaves and sticks and even sand with the magnifying glass now toddlers get a kick of seeing things magnifying they just look bigger under the magnifying glass and so this teaches a lot of cause and effect when i have this science tool then the object looks bigger it also brings curiosity and at this time you can of course add that rich language and say oh these are the veins on the leaf oh this is called the margin of the leaf and so you're in in introducing these fun science concepts all while your child is having a great and fun time and there you have it simple and easy i promise it does not have to be complicated i'm excited to share many more videos like this one so don't forget to subscribe and follow my family's journey on instagram where i share so many more ideas and activities and just simple ways of incorporating the montessori principle in your home thanks again and i will see you soon